it is given in a problem that time taken by the body to reach the bottom of a rough inclined plane is some n number times the time taken by the body to reach the bottom of a smooth inclined plane then what is the value of the coefficient of friction we know that when the body is coming down on a rough inclined plane acceleration can be derived as it is proved in the previous classes previous videos that a equal to g of sin theta plus mu of cos theta if the surface is a smooth surface we have also proved that time taken to reach the bottom of the rough inclined plane is root of 2l by g of sin theta minus mu cos theta where l is the length of the inclined plane if the surface is smooth coefficient of friction is equal to 0 then the time taken to reach the bottom for the same body on the same inclined plane is root of 2l by g of sin theta what is given in the problem is time taken to reach the bottom on a rough inclined plane is n times the time taken to reach the bottom on a smooth inclined plane by substituting this data we can write root of 2l by g of sin theta minus mu cos theta is n times root 2l by g sin theta by squaring this equations and cancelling the common terms we can get 1 by sin theta minus mu cos theta equal to n square by sin theta if you simplify this equation further n square sin theta and n square mu cos theta equal to sin theta itself by rearranging the terms again n square sin theta minus sin theta equal to n square mu cos theta therefore sin theta of n square minus 1 equal to n square mu cos theta therefore we can say mu is equal to tan theta of n square minus 1 by n square using this we can identify the value of the coefficient of friction